I am here. This is XP5 from Earth 4 Hood, the one true Earth 4 Hood, the legendary eternal soldier himself, and the greatest and best Yu Gi Oh player of all time who doesn't use brain dead meta. Today, you see, we've got some Chronomaly cards. I made this Chronomaly deck a long time ago. Of course, it was a different version. I made some improvements and like tweaks to it. And I enjoyed Chronomaly. At first, I was like, eh, about them, but I spent a number of gems on them and stuff to build it. And I've had some fun duels in them, and I've had a lot of success too. It gets people who, you know, got skill and play fun decks, you know, and we have like a good back and forth. This is just some of the duels, some of the more shorter ones as well. Chronomaly, if played right, can have a, a big payout too. You know, it's it requires skill and some intelligence to go about it because this is some strategy you can do like that field spell for example is just worthless in my opinion chronomaly is not strong far from top tier but they're fun and they can like throw in some punches they've got a, some abilities going on like vermana is a great card and just to throw in i like to build as you know pure decks and like i don't like to mix and do hybrid decks and stuff like that i like to do pure so they're all chronomaly cards except a few except you know things like maxi for example you know and i got two xyz monsters that one of them is Zeus, and the other one is this other one that's like a... It looks like a giant construction machine thing. I got Zeus in there just in case I go up against someone who is using a brain dead meta deck, and I want to, let's say, try get a chance to reset the board. So he's there for that. If they're playing a, a fair, fun deck, then I'd never bring out Zeus. You know, and that, that construction machine one, that's a powerful one. I'm not going to lie, that card is, is on the recipe. I think we're about to bust that card out right now, in fact. Hold up. Yeah, this thing. This thing. I realize that it's powerful, it's, but... Only in a few decks it can backfire, like it can help the opponent, like how you see how that, you know, if you notice carefully that dragon card right there, Kimoto went down to the grave, give him a buff, but you know, stuff like that. Other than that, yeah, Chronomaly and gameplay, got some more things in the way, so I hope you enjoyed this video, which of course you will, I mean we've got some common sense. And regardless what's going on, make sure to do the Earth Walk, and I'll see you guys around.